Here's a way to model a clipboard uh, using this reference image that I'll uh, put in the uh, description. Um, it, I'm going to do it with uh, subdivision surface and just put it somewhere in my scene as a prop. So you know, I'm not going to do all the details for this. Uh, but if you just want this somewhere in the background, you just bring in the reference image. Click on the your cursor tool and click relatively in the middle of that. Come back to here and we'll start modeling shift A mesh circle. I'm going to go for 18 vertices and put a subdivision surface on this. Scale it down until we get this uh, roughly in the middle like that. Press E and S and come out to about there. And I'm looking at these vertices right here. I'm going to come over to solid view. Actually, take this and lift this up. Okay, I'm going to actually go with the wireframe. I'm going to select uh, these vertices here, and I'm going to hit S to scale. And I'm going to select these vertices, S to scale. Pull them out. These ones come out to about there. With those selected I'm going to click these ones as well and I'm going to scale Y0 to flatten those out. Then you can readjust and rescale etc. Something like that. I'm going to press E to extrude and I'm going to come down to here and it's up to you if you want that bump or not. I think I'm going to skip that. Come right down to there. E to extrude, I'm going to come all the way down to there. And then in edge selection, I'm going to select that edge and this edge, E and SX. And come up to there. And at this point, I think I'm going to mirror it, so I'm going to press 1. Box select here. Delete those vertices. Add a mirror. Turn on the clipping. And then I'm going to come over here and just uh, add a few edge loops here. And just start scaling this down and shaping it the way that I would want it. Put another one in there. Come back up. All right, so that's basically what we what we've got. I might come in here and round this a little bit more. And I'll come in here. Maybe I'll pull that out a little bit. This one a little bit under. All right, you get something like that. Okay. And now I'm going to an edge selection, shift alt and click that edge and we'll look from the side. All right, there's my clip right there, I'm going to press E, and I'm going to come down just like that. Shift Alt and click there, and I'm going to bevel, Control B, and make some kind of a curve. If you add a subdivision, and you hide that, this is what you get. I'm not sure I like that curve yet. And so I might grab that edge, pull it down a little bit more. You can GG to edge slide if you want to separate these out a little bit. And adjust your curve, just pressing GG each time. Okay, so we have that. Now what I would do is I would go ahead and apply the mirror and I'm going to press E and Alt S to give it a little bit of thickness and then sub to a um, edge loop up and down right there and the same thing in the hole. Shade smooth. Okay, so takes a little bit of uh, practice on the on these to get the right curve
You can try uh, dissolving an edge. Yeah, I don't think that's going to help though. There's my, there's my clip, and that may be enough for the, for most scenarios where I would use this on a plane. Just to represent the clipboard here. Just quickly do this for reference purpose and then we'll decide if we need to do the bottom part. I'm going to bevel that. Now I weighted normal and auto smooth. I'm going to add the cavity shader and the shadow. And let's just for now make this like a brown color. Okay, we'll look from the side. And I'm just going to lift that up and rotate it. something to represent paper. We'll give it a slightly yellowish color. And for a lot of purposes, that would be that would be good enough. You know, if it's just a prop in the background, sort of a cartoony thing. But if you wanted to do the bottom piece, right? You could come back over here and we could hide all this stuff. And here's the bottom piece. Okay. So I'm gonna take this. And I'm going to move it until my circle is pretty much in the middle there. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to model again. Circle. I'm going to extrude. And then I'm just going to choose some vertices that I want to scale out. Uh, scale in the X. Oops, SX. Choose the next ones down. Scale in the X. Mm. Let's try scaling in the X again. Okay, let's straighten all these out. SY0. Let's pull them up. Go like this. Let's say, let's extrude down and scale. Let's see if we can come down all the way to there. Something like that. Let's extrude down. Close enough. I'm gonna put another edge of the pin there. Let's go to wireframe, grab a couple of these vertices, pull them up, and start simulating this curve here. I'm going to put another edge loop in here. Select these scalies in the X to come out to there. These ones, SX. Let's get rid of these ones. And just have a look at that. We could try that. Control 2. Yeah, 
and you can you can mirror this again if you want to make it a little bit easier let's hide the subdivision surface for now mirror make sure clipping is on I'm gonna bring that up to the top and um, let's turn the subdivision back on and it's leave down here just to sharpen that up a little bit and there's your bottom piece I'm gonna go ahead and apply the mirror and go in and I'm just going to extrude up just a little bit Hide that and edge leap up and edge leap down into the circle. Make sure my polys are facing the right way. So I've got that piece. Okay, let's bring back some of this stuff here. Take this piece. Pull it up. I might make this a bit thicker. Shade smooth. Okay, so I've got that. Let's see. I'm going to take this, just position it a bit differently. create something here yeah. to attach faces and bevel these edges I'm going to mirror that to the other side and I think it really might need to go up higher a little bit so I can move that in and put it around there I'm going to bring in a cylinder, I'll make that 18. Rotate Y90. Scale that in the X. Push it back here. Scale Shift X to make it a little bit smaller. Let's take the ends of this and control B and shade smooth. And I'll make it smaller, scale shift X. Like that. Again, we're going for sort of a cartoon look. And we'll fake some wireish stuff here. Put an edge loop there. I'm just gonna bring it down and P to break it out. So I can just use that. Scale it a bit bigger. I'm going to extrude it this way, grab the edges, B e and S, I'll scale these in the X a little bit, oh, 
I grab these edges. I don't bevel. I'll just put one segment in there and uh, control one. So do that, and then I'll take this and array it and put maybe four. Slide them down like that. All right, so we have that, and I can scale that if I want to make it a little bit rounder. And I'll take that and I will mirror that to the other side. All right, just for a little bit of detail. And then let's come back in here and let's grab a bit of this control plus a few times, just like that. Shift D and pull it out. P to break it out. Let's rotate Y90 minus from the top. Position that over here is a bolt or screw that holds that in. And then come in here and let's uh, let's see. Let's go back, delete those faces, and just fix this up. I'm gonna hit press uh, E and S. E, I'm going to come down, I'll scale in a bit, E and S and F to make a face, and Control 1, and I'll have it like that, and I'll take this and I'll mirror it, alright, and that's basically it, okay, now I can hang that on the wall or just put it on the desk, and I guess if you are looking from a slight angle uh, you'd see the back as well uh, but like I say I'm not sure I would really do that piece um, you would have that so you know try it a few different ways and uh, decide on the, the thickness of, of this stuff that you would want